Okay, let me know, Sam. Um, I would like to start asking you about love. Mm -hmm. uh, understanding how you think and feel that what love is, because as you might imagine in the Western world and maybe in the whole planet, a lot of us uh, have ideas about love that could be confused with attraction, mm -hmm. with uh, desire, mm -hmm. and uh, we think that is love when we meet somebody and feel this attraction or this kind of uh, mm -hmm. desire for that person, we believe that is love. Yet, the kind of love that uh, you, you teach and that you share with people through the practice, the Buddhist practice and, and the mystical traditions um, is, is a, a different kind of love, maybe a, a love that goes beyond desire or beyond uh, attraction. Mm. And I would like to understand for all of us who are watching, what is this kind of love and how we can, we can understand it and practice um, I think generally is uh, what we have now, what we call desire or attraction, that is also is one kind of love. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but this love, what we have now, is very narrow and very, very small. It's not so deep, but our true nature or our true nature is infinite. And but what we now have here, what we call love or desire, is uh, very temporary and very small. That's not enough to f reach our true nature. And what we have now is, is also love, is something not completely wrong, is good, but that is not enough. You need exercise to stretch this and make it bigger and bigger and bigger. And the come bigger, you come more bigger and bigger and you feel more free and more feel free. And what we now have also kind of element of love, this is clear, this is also some kind of love but that's not enough. Mm -hmm. So what is our true nature? Because you mentioned, you know, uh, you've mentioned right now several times our true nature. What is our true nature? You, you see, in the sometime in the, our Buddhism we call, we are, have many kind of ignorances, but mean ignorances is ignorance of our true nature. What is our true nature, you know, what is, we are ignorance of our true nature, that is the main reason we have a great suffering. Mm -hmm. We believe what is our true nature is we call complete, or complete, or, or I don't know, it's not correct words, but unconditional love and infinite wisdom mm -hmm. and in the universe yes we are all universe yes all wisdom and yes yes love. yes because a moment yes however uh, uh, mm, what we call yes uh, therefore is uh, and then people ask how you prove your nature is really is or love or unconditional love. We say it's not so not so difficult to prove your nature is unconditional love. Is uh, you see in our. Um, most natural feeling what we really have. You just let close eyes to look yourself. What is the most natural feeling? All what we have, humans, or all of the sentient beings, want happiness and don't want over suffering. Mm -hmm. Kind of a universal feeling and so so natural feeling. 
Nobody need to teach this. And when you wear, and you feel this. Not only the wear, but in the dreams and the sleeps. And also still you have such kind of feeling to wanting of to be happy, not wanting of uh, what to call sufferings. And therefore, this is clear. We then we need to question why you feel this. Why? Why everybody feel this? Why one person, you know, we all feel this way. Why, why, why? We all feel this way. And this is clear. We all have same nature. or All our nature is love. Therefore, and happiness, we always feel more home or very familiar. And the suffering, we repeat 1,000 times, but we still feel very stranger. And that is a clear sign in our true nature is uh, unconditional love. Now, Lama Lobsang, in our nature, in our experience as, as humans, uh, there is the experience of suffering, yes. maybe because of ignorance, but yes. we have the experience of suffering. Yes. Why have we come, if our true nature is unconditional love, why have we come here and experienced suffering? Is there a purpose of the experience of suffering for us to reach an understanding of unconditional love? Is generally, you see, that's not something easy to say mm -hmm. in the, with a few sentences. We need to talk many theories mm -hmm. to understand. It's, that's the most important point. We are, our nature is a truly is unconditional love and then why we have this uh, what we call uh, why we have such kind of uh, why we have suffering you know mm -hmm. uh, that's we need to talk very special deep and the theories otherwise no make sense but I just kind of let it try okay. and we believe in our most true nature self what we call clear light or clear light and this consciousness is the not perception of consciousness uh, not what's a not conception of consciousness is complete perception of consciousness it's the naked consciousness moment you see and my consciousness except my eyes but general my consciousness is conceptual consciousness therefore I'm not possible directly contact object I always to think and you see I think and I'm not to directly possible see object I first think and then what I think and I see or what I think I have a you know vision yes. but this deep consciousness is kind of looks like empty space exactly the same look like empty space except different empty space and this deep consciousness is the, he have empty nothing but he have awareness and this awareness or the, this empty or this uh, this uh, this uh, the, yes this deep nature of emptiness of a consciousness deep consciousness empty what's a deep nature of this uh, consciousness is empty mm -hmm. and this emptiness the nature of a consciousness and who what maybe I say, who kind of, uh, uh, yes, and the, uh, who is the source of samsara and we call nirvana. He go, uh, he, he go uh, another direction is coming we call samsaras. He go other direction is come nirvana or to enlightened world exactly and the people who have light you know the light and the light what we see is very little is kind of uh, four or five colors what we see 
And then they have many lights, you know, and different lights. So light over remote control light, mobiles, all light. And this lights going is more good, I hear, healthy. And the other side, lights go, is light more dangerous? We are sick, correct? Light is what we see here is only size of this. And this side is light is infinite, but you go more this side is more dangerous, the light. And you go more this side, light is more good. They, they told me something look like this. Is just one thing, is one mind, but the direction change is happen. Then why you ask me, then big question, why this direction change? Why this happen? And then because he don't have a nature. You know, he don't have any nature, he don't fix anything. Therefore, is anything possible appear in this nature? It look like our true nature of mind is look like space. In the space appear all good and the bad things. But whatever appear good and bad things in the space still does not change the nature of a space. Uh -huh. You know, something, uh, something look like, uh, I don't think is really is a correct way of the saying, but uh, conclusion, um, uh, I'm making conclusion is uh, that is not so easy to say one sentence. I don't think make anybody sense. Mm -hmm. You need to talk many theory and then you reach one point kind of make sense. Make sense. Kind of, yes. yes. Lama Lopsan, in regarding like enlightenment, yes. you mentioned Nirvana or enlightenment. Does it require many lifetimes or many lifetimes of working? to get rid of, of the concept of limitation in space to reach the state of enlightenment or enlightenment just comes any moment, any time or do we need to kind of build in consciousness to reach a level that we are ready mm. to, to surrender to enlightenment? Mm. But Usually you see enlightenment not just happen without, uh, uh, without practice mm -hmm. because we believe uh, cause in fact, we don't believe anything accident, we don't believe anything good luck. Oh, you are enlightened because of good luck. Uh -huh. Oh, you are not happy because of bad luck. We don't believe bad luck, we don't believe good luck, they always have a reason. Mm -hmm. Therefore, but generally, you see, enlightened is, uh, I don't know really correct words or not, but many people uh, translate waking mind. Awaken mind. Yes, because waking mind, that's what we call idea of a Buddha. Mm -hmm. And uh, so maybe we possible say, some level, we possible waking mind in the intellectual level. Intellectual waking mind, and we put in our experience. Then we are possible waking mind in experience level. Experience is come. Maybe you have a special experiences out of normal. You have a special experiences and what we call realization. I meditated and meditated and meditated and meditated. And I only what say uh, 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 moment I have only small view. You know, I have a very very small view, and this view is uh, a very very limitation view. So it's like conditioning. Uh, the limitation view that most of us have comes from the conditioning, from the society, from family. Uh, I, not, not only we are society, we are here born is a very, very limitationally. And whatever we have now, we are kind of very limitation view have. And this limitation view, inside we make again more, build the small, 
uh, houses or small buildings or small, you know, what we call family, what we call friend, what we call like or not. But generally we born in the very limitation and whenever with your practice, with the practice of love, practice of meditation, whenever you little jump out of this limitation and you see everything different way mm -hmm. and you have experienced everything different way and this name we call realization. Mm -hmm. But that is direction of enlightened but not complete. Not complete. You just shut, wake up, you know, but not complete. Uh -huh. And then with this practice and your complete one day wake up and then what we call enlightened. But enlightened is not so, so difficult. I don't think some people say very difficult, but I don't think really difficult. We really uh, hard work, I mean, we really effort how we hard work in our normal life is you just put this direction of to become enlightened. I don't think it's so far. It's not so far. Yes. Now, it seems like in this time in, in, uh, in the world, there is a lot of movement of energy in consciousness. Yeah. Like people are uh, questioning more, wanting to change the the system of that that we understand how we have lived in. In from your perspective, is there really something going on in terms of uh, changing of ages, or uh, I don't know, from the Hindu perspective, the the Kali, the Yugas, or there, there is something going on in this world with all the changes in the in the world in terms of the ecology and having eruptions and having disasters and there's movements of the sun and there's movements of the cosmos and it, somehow we are all integrated in part of one thing. Are we being affected in order for us to to have a higher level of consciousness as humanity? I think so, but generally, is yes, so many things is going change. It's not really interesting anyway. Uh, you know, it's anything, many, many, many things is changing. But what we really, what I really see, is uh, is uh, not only some kind of outside changing, but I believe many things change in the human society, mm -hmm. and they want no more deep things and they have more want to connect uh, uh, more you know they exist in you know they're more understand because of education in this 20th century 21 century most educated century and because of this education to make to think and to make question each thinking questions make their uh, their their the what uh, their view is come more bigger and the bigger and this view is come bigger and the bigger and we go more direction of enlightened mm -hmm. example this century very educated i mean very educated people i mean not to fake educate really educated people automatically good people mm -hmm. it's more good and more compassionate people you know it's but educate means uh, self-education we have many kind of education have, but we don't have any so much self-education. Yes, self-education you miss, and not so much make a different other kind of knowledge. Therefore, I think big changing, and also because of all these technologies, and to make to share each other. It's not so difficult to learn things now, not so difficult to share things, you know. We easily... Yeah. Is Internet, yes, everything, yes. there's so much in there. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. And Lama Lovsan, why is meditation such a powerful tool to open up and, and break from our own limitations? Why meditation? What does it give us? Because... You remember in the, what we have now, this consciousness, what you and me talking now, and this, what we have now, this body, and the base of this body, 
and they have uh, some consciousness what we now I'm talking mm -hmm. and this consciousness very very temporary consciousness and this consciousness also very have a temporary self temporary body temporary consciousness and the temporary self and this uh, what to say this consciousness is very temporarily he have very 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 little information and he have very very little capacity mm -hmm. and he not see very far away he don't have a deep information he no possible see everything clear it's look like a wave of ocean but with meditation and you go deep part of consciousness each time you reach in the deep level of a consciousness you totally reach a different self yes that is your continuation your continuation yourself but you reach another kind of self and you have another kind of information you have another kind of view Therefore, through of meditation is the only you possible, the most deep, deep part of consciousness. And, uh, you know, that's the reason why is meditation is so important. Example, when we die, and this body is anyway die, and this mind also die, the self also die. But this continuation, or the seed, or energy, or the this uh, continuation of the self is connect in the deep part and the, the, the subtle self is the who go life to life. He memorize all of this knowledge therefore whenever you give a future any condition and he possible remember things. Uh -huh. Example moment is you don't remember your past life or next life is I'm not surprised and may also I'm not surprised maybe you say I remember maybe I'm 85 percent I don't believe I believe past life but I don't remember I don't believe you remember except your higher practitioner because in this body is make manifest this gross consciousness and this gross consciousness give idea of a gross self and this gross self is dying each second nearly I mean each minute Example, I say, oh, I like this person. I really like this person. After one hour, I don't like. You see, that means the first who likes self is already dead. And now new self is growing, look like a wave over the ocean. And that's make we suffering so much. But it seems that uh, human beings like to uh, stay very uh, encapsulated with an identity. Like, I, I feel I am this way, and when I get together with friends that I have not seen in 20 years, they say, you have not changed at all. Yet everything seems to be changing all the time, but they say, you have not changed at all. Uh, we have this need to have stability and things square that don't change, because that gives us security. Is security an illusion? Is that not real? Uh, yeah, yes, we, yes, we, we want to be free, but we afraid of freedom, because when you are free means you don't belong to anybody. Mm -hmm. But same time, because your nature is free, free. therefore you always asking be free. But when you make you free, and you not to belong anybody, you don't you don't have a whole, you don't hold any place. Nobody hold you, mm -hmm. and you don't hold anybody, and you are just uh, you know free, and thus you afraid. Yes. But then you hold something because you want security, and you against your nature. Your emotions say, yes, now I feel very security. Therefore, I think it's good, but in the, slowly, without anybody saying anything, and you just start to feel no right. You feel no good. You not feel good. Because you're against your nature. But when you start to 
make free yourself, you can fear of this freedom because of you, the eons, eons life you used to hold somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know? And therefore, and that is a kind of uh, normal, and therefore is a love is the way to, to not to hold things, to so be free. Love and freedom are almost the same thing. Exactly. Not only almost a complete yeah. same thing, but we don't make same thing. Yeah, okay. You know, yes. we make separate, and that's the reason nobody success with love in this world. I don't know any normal person, you are a normal person, you are have a normal love, is a guarantee you are not a success. I possible give signature. Yes. So, so that's why I started asking you about love, because this is the case for most everybody. Yeah. And yet we, we want to reach our true nature. Yes. Everybody in, in, inside, we want to reach the true nature, and that true nature is unconditional love. Yes. But we are completely uh, focused yes. on the other kind. <laughs> yes. How can we make a bridge to yeah. go from the kind of love everybody knows yeah. to this freedom love, yes. this unconditional love? Yes. How can we kind of go from here to here? Yes. Because we don't know, most people might know it, but are not aware. They might experience a little unconditional love when they watch, a, they see a bird flying and they like emptiness and watch and feel this ecstasy, mm. right? Mm. But we don't associate, we don't normally associate that experience with unconditional love. Mm -mm. Because we, most of us, we don't really, we are not conscious, we are not aware of what unconditional love is. Correct. So, I, that's why I asked you at the beginning and that's where I wanted to start. Is what is actually, how can we reach this level of unconditional love so things can really start changing for everybody when we start ex because most of us are experiencing this, this other kind mm -hmm. of love mm -hmm. and we want to experience this kind of love mm -hmm. uh, how can we kind of get there mm -hmm. usually is uh, what to, uh, I believe uh, yeah, yes uh, what we call nowadays you see is uh, Example, I'm sorry to say, I people sometimes use a strange words I'm because kind of make I'm a little shock people. I say I don't believe any marriage. And I'm a kind of very authentic person, very traditional person. I'm not allowed to say this, but I'm completely disappointed what people did in the last generations and especially this century is a very educated century and nobody success with the marriage. What is the purpose of marriage mostly is love. You see, in our society, love no have a big space, love no have a very big place. Yes, everybody talk love, but love no have a very higher position. It's very superficial. Yes. And uh, when you, you always more focus on relationship, example, you have two couple, you always focus to how you always focus a relationship and the love is second. But remember is I always say I don't I only believe in love. Without love, I don't believe a relationship. Therefore many times I say people, hey, don't focus a relationship, more focus love. When you have a love, you have a relationship. But without love, you know possible protect your relationship. Therefore, many times I say to people, let's focus more love. Because a relationship means they need to hold each other. Mm -hmm. How I hold you, how you hold me, and how we be together. We are holding each other. But love means to make free each other. That's all. You know, we make free each other. And when we make free each other, is the free, to free is the way to have you. 
you make a free something, you make you free this person is really is complete is way to you have half. Until you hold, you never feel you have. One you success to make a free. And not only you feel you have this person, you feel complete have. And then is also no big different he stay here or he stay in the distance is all no no big different. Therefore that's one thing. Therefore I also people say, oh we many think revolution we make outside in the cars and the in aeroplanes, but we need a revolution also in the love, I say. You know, we are just same 5,000 years ago, it's just, uh, we, you know, we, we have medically, we proof many things, but in love level is kind of same, same problem in the 5,000 years ago, or whatever. And also, I sometimes people say, remember, lo love and the freedom is not separate. But in normal life, we kind of look, looks like we need a choice. Uh, I want to be free means I don't have love. I have love means I'm not free. But you see, it's a both is something so important. It look like your right, right, uh, right arm and left arm is, you know, both is so important. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I always say you really want to love. Remember when you love somebody, you need to make free this person. The moment you make this person is free, what is your beneficial? I make you free and that's okay, good you, maybe. But what is I benefit? Because the moment of I make you free and I come also free of you. Moment I don't free of anything. I'm just so weak, I'm so weak, I'm so weak, I'm so weak, I'm so weak. I'm not free of anything. Somebody just uh, say this and this already make me pain. Somebody look strange away and already just make me break you my heart. You know, you're so, so weak and everybody afraid now each other. I know you're a weak person. I know this person weak person. Better don't look. Maybe I look smiling and hey ho oh, ah, and then you know many problems coming. Uh, uh, therefore, is when you love somebody, and this make you free, and you love is more unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And when you love somebody. Maybe you are happy, illusion happiness, but you don't feel you are not free of this person, you make the big mistake. In, in this regards about uh, love, like what you say for me is very clear that uh, I could experience this kind of love when I am living out of my soul, of yeah. my spirit. Yes. When I live out of my ego, ego also always wants to hold on to things, wants desire and wants to be attached. Yes. But if I live out of my soul, my inner self or my soul of my spirit, yes. my spirit, uh, I can experience a, a relationship spirit to spirit with somebody else. Yes. And and then it's it's uh, this what you just mentioned, this freedom, this love and freedom is very possible. Very possible. Okay, so we would, in order to reach to that level of love that you are mentioning, we would need to learn to live more on the, our spirit self. Correct. How can, we de how can we do that? I mean, first is the most important thing. You need to practice to see we are all one. Mm -hmm. Use success to see we are all one, but same time we are all different. We are all is a one. You are a part of me. I'm part of you. We are all part of each other. We are not separate. We are not separate, but we are different. 
You see, sometimes we try to think we are one and then we think we are not different. Then we want to come same. I eat, uh, you know, I eat the chili, you also need to eat the chili or something look like this. That's a problem. Because we call, we are falling in love, you know. Uh, we fall in love, we will, we, I feel oneness with you means, means, now you misunderstand, very possible, you think we are complete same. We are not same. What is, we are not same, but we are not separate. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the different cells in the body, they are separate, but they are one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's give you, you know, we are not separate, that's give you, this make me compassion you, this make me love you. But, you remember, we are different. You see, first you need to practice to we see we are one. And how, how you, you know, we are one. We connect complete, you know, we are not solid existing, we are complete interconnected, interdependent. Therefore, we are this level, we are one. But another level, we are different. But what is between, we are not separate. Okay. We are I one, yes. You are there, I am here. It seems as yeah. a, are the reality of the physical world that we are separate. Exactly. But we are not. Exactly. We are interconnected. Yes. So I can, uh, even if I'm not aware, I can, <laughs> I am connected to your heart and you're Ex connected to mine and to hers and to all of us in the room. Exactly. And yes, exactly. Exactly. Classic, exactly. Classic physical level. You see, you are separate than me. Mm -hmm. You are just yourself. I'm a myself. But I'm sure in the deep explain of uh, uh, the, the deep nature you are not there I'm not there mm -hmm. it's not possible because of you are there I possible say this is my friends you know mm -hmm. you know because of you are there I possible say you know my friends or my right or my left you not there I don't have identity you know, I'm not there. Therefore, th therefore, we are connect. Mm -hmm. We are not separate. We are connect. We are oneness. But now, we are different. Yes. Can I feel what you feel? Like, can we connect with somebody else and actually feel what the other person is feeling? Like, for instance, right now, we are different, but we are connected and we are one. But if I have no identity and I let go of my limitation, can I actually feel what you are feeling? Yes, possible. Mm -hmm. Very possible. But uh, you see, what I feel is infect you. What, what feels what? What I, what I feel is possible change you. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know? And, uh, but also what I feel possible, you feel, mm -hmm. but depend in a different, uh, uh, different level, like yes. Uh -huh. But you go more deep nature, you go more deep self, you feel more connect. Mm -hmm. But more service level, we are look like not connect. Mm -hmm. It's we are complete separate. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you something about religions and all of Yes. It seems like monotheistic religions, really monotheistic religions. What do you mean monotheistic? Monotheistic religions are Catholicism, Islam, uh, Judaism, yes, that yes. they have one God. Yes, you know? yes. They are the religions that have uh, governed the Western world mm -hmm. many, many thousands of years. But they are religions that when they started, when they were born, they didn't create unity but separateness because of the idea of one God and that God is theirs. Mm -hmm. Buddhist uh, tradition is not theistic. So, uh, Buddhist tradition seems to uh, be able to bring in the teachings uh, of 
spirituality of true nature in a more open way that unite instead of separating. Uh, do you feel that maybe through all that is happening in the world and the change of consciousness and people are starting to have more information and wake up, that one day we will reach a point where there is uh, no separation in any religion that we can actually all practice dharma or, or mm, practice nature, spirituality yes. Yes. without having to depend on a religion? I think very possible, but I don't think a complete this happen in this world. Not that, not today. Not today, but I don't think future also. There are always some kind of people have a different view. Mm -hmm. That's the reason they have many different kind of religions. Is all religions have some kind of beneficial to different kind of people? But in this century, very special century. And uh, I remember exactly what you say. I think many religions, when you birth, they immediately they make separation. Mm -hmm. And this separation is very dangerous. And it's very nice to yourself, in your community maybe, you are special. Because everybody wants to be special. I want to be special of you. I want to be special. And this separation to make feel they are special. And they feel special, not a big problem, but then they generate other side hatred. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other people. That is dangerous. That is. That's we know possible, forget, you know. Mm -hmm. They feel they are special. That's no problem. That's their space. But now they see others, they start to generate hatred. That's dangerous. You know, possible say, you know, you know, possible ignore this. But uh, um, is I think exactly what to say in the Einstein, the in the German scientist, what we call this name, Einstein. Yes. Um, I heard that. Yes, yes. I'm sure you know what he named. The name is is a German name. Uh, no, Einstein. Uh, it's very famous scientist man, what to recall? Einstein. Yes. Ah, Einstein. Yes. Einstein. Yes. yes. Okay. He wrote once few one page. He say, uh, I don't remember exactly, but he nice wrote. He say, is the Buddhism is the only possible come in the religion in the universal universal. Uh huh. Why did he say that? Uh -huh. Why did he say that? Why do you think he said that? I don't know, but because, you know, he is the, he main theories is a very similar Buddhism. Example ah. is uh, 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 relativity. Relativity? Relativity. Yeah, relativity is the idea of emptiness. Uh -huh. Is no have a soul at there. Yes. It's, you know, yes. uh, maybe he also, uh, he found such kind of things. I don't know why he said, because he kind of very smart guy. Mm -hmm. You know, he is not personally herself a religion person, but, and he says something, I'm sure he have a great reason. And also... Carl Jung also. Yes. You know, the psychiatrist, the Swiss psychiatrist, that uh, Carl Jung, he was very fond of Buddhist practice and uh, philosophy. Uh, okay, this because I don't the know. Same, the same reason, but it seems that Lama Lausanne, the Oriental traditions, the yes. Oriental culture is much older yes. than the Western culture. Correct. And you have much more information about the cosmos, the world, and what's happening mm -hmm. before the Western scientific world. The science is very new, uh, it's a very new practice, yes. 300 years maybe, yes, yes. it's not older than that. Yeah. But when they talk about science, they never talk about oriental science or the way they think, because mm. uh, it seems that in, in uh, Ori Orient there is no science. Correct. Everything is West, but you have more information that uh, scientists in the West are recently like quantum physics or what Einstein said or those things, they are proving scientifically. Is What I want to know is the way the mind works in your world and the way the mind works in the Western world is very different. 
Yes, I think very different. Example, in the, I don't know so much uh, the modern science, but I think I know some important points. Is really what they say is nothing different to Buddhism. Mm -hmm. The philosophy, me important. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, or Taoism as well. Yeah, also, I don't know, but it's, I'm, I know a kind of Buddhism is, you know, I just, when I listen to these things, is, I know everything, what they're saying. And maybe different ways to say or whatever something, but uh, problem I think or necessary because they, th uh, I think their think is the the they prove everything, but they never to what they prove is nothing useful to practice and generate our human love. Mm -hmm. So they're missing the yes. more important part. Yes, they're missing is the most important part. Is this love, this unconditional love, is this a state of consciousness more than just a feeling? Is yes. A function yeah. a state of consciousness? Yes, yes. Example, I want to before say something. You see, in the Buddhism, we have a three things. Fundamental and the path and achievement. Uh -huh. Fundamental of Buddhism is conventional truth and absolute truth. Uh -huh. You know, the nature of a gla the nature of a, the flower is he don't have a nature. When you go in the deep part of flower, there you don't find nothing. nothing. That's what we call emptiness. Huh. That's what we call absolute truth. Emptiness is absolute truth. Yes, but still they have a flower. Yeah. This name we call conventional truth. Flower we call conventional truth. Nature of a flower is absolute truth. We uh -huh. call. This kind of fundamental philosophy, mm -hmm. and this part, everybody interesting to talk. Oh yes, convention this and that. But now we, what makes sense to this? Okay, what, what makes sense my? What makes sense our society? What make to sense? What make in our happiness or whatever? Then we say yes. Then we start talk the path we call compassion and wisdom. The path to the realization sure, of this one. Of uh, yes, because oh. two truth is not two truth is not uh, uh, separate. Uh -huh. Therefore, it's like the little love that we started talking about. Yes, and the big love. Yes, like that. You know, the yes. desire and attraction. Yes, is is also love. Yes, but it's little love. Yes, like the little truth. Yes, yes, and yes. so. This takes me to wonder, Lama uh, why do we have to experience again the, this duality, this big or little, and most people stay in the little because reaching the big is a lot of work or yes. uh, a lot of things to, that have to happen inside of us to, to reach to the absolute truth. Yes. Uh, why, don't we, why, aren't we, why aren't we born? directly with the wisdom of absolute truth and the understanding of everything. What is the, the reason of having a, a, a human life? Uh, is, that's what I before told, it's this complicated part. <laughs> is, is you really need a professional time and to talk this, nobody makes sense. Uh -huh. We need to talk theory. Always the difficult part, we need to talk theory uh -huh. and then and you see something. Okay. It's, but um, uh, is uh, mainly we just a very simple explanation. We say because of ignorance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we call we are humans complete. We are all sleep and sleep of ignorance, and then we are dream. And therefore, because of ignorance, and we we have a different uh, feelings. We have a different pictures, and this name what we call dream. And therefore, in the sleep and the dreams make we suffering. Yes. So again, to the, the most powerful tool that we can use to understand all this is meditation. Yes. Now, what, what, what is meditation for people? Because may, people think meditation is sitting close to the eyes and maybe so many things come and you focus on the things. What is meditation? 
Oh, meditation is again, you know, possible. Explain. <laughs> you have to experience. Uh, no, not experience, but I need to talk theory. Yeah, okay. It's look like it's really professional way talk. We need to talk theory, but simple way just to say is the meditation means uh, just uh, to relax. Relax yes. opens up. Yes, time. opens up just to relax. But you see, meditation is uh, how the Buddhism. You make a three part. First one in the discipline. Second one is meditation. Third one is wisdom. Therefore, meditation is a very big part. Yes. Therefore, it's not something simple. Mm -hmm. But mainly, meditation means to just be is uh, be in the present moment. Okay. But it's not easy, then you need to need some kind of methods and to how to be this. Mm -hmm. But it's just the simple people say meditation means just relax. Mm -hmm. Just relax, don't follow so much past, don't invite so much future, just be in the present. Mm -hmm. And that's what we call. But otherwise, it's not a kind of a question, answer, it's come more teaching, you know. Yes. It's, and uh, yes, it's a. Uh, Yes. Yes, I understand. One more question. Yes. The last one, because I know you have to do your things. The medicine, the Tibetan medicine you practice, is it all based on the Buddhist philosophy or the Buddhist uh, way of life? Is it all interconnected, the practice of, of the Tibetan medicine and the way of life? Yes. Because all the Tibetan medicine, what we have mean the study, what we call the uh, uh, four uh, tantrayana, uh, four tantra, four root tantra, four root tantrayana medicine books. All the the teaching of Buddha. Oh, so the, the the Tibetan medicine comes from the time of Buddha. Yes. Okay. And is he? Yes, exactly. They teach one kind of level, and. Uh, Yes, he teach one kind of level and to medicines, but you want to go more deeper in Tibetan medicine, you need to learn uh, Tantrayana Buddhism. Tantrayana. Now, I imagine uh, Gautama Siddhartha, the Buddha, yeah. he didn't sit and study me uh, medicine. Did it all come to him when he became enlightened and understood the nature of our spiritual being and humanity? Exactly. Then he understood how the body works and everything. Yeah, exactly. And it's the most profound and essential yes, way. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Therefore, and uh, he teach absolute medicine. Okay. Is all normal medicine is temporary medicine. Temporary medicine we don't focus so much. You know, yes. is we need some kind of absolute medicine. Also, we don't focus so much temporary success, temporary happiness. Uh -huh we focus more absolute happiness. Like that's a, it's a state of consciousness. Yes, that's exactly what we call enlightened. Uh -huh. And when you enlighten, you complete come another dimension. Yes. You are come enlightened, I don't see you longer. My normal eyes, no possible see you. Because of the vibrational level? Is yes, different. Yes, it's uh, because my mind is so diluted uh -huh. to see this enlightened world. But enlightened world is not something far away. Mm -hmm. It's just... So, was it true that Shambhala, Shambhala became enlightened because they all practiced the teachings of Buddha? Yes, I think some people, uh, yes, I think uh, Shambhala, we kind of mystic land and we believe in the Shambhala world and they have who many many practitioners have and is kind of maybe better than in this planet, but so this became, yes, became many better. many enlightened uh, peoples. Lama Lausan, in the last question. Yes. Okay. Humanity, the most of us the humans, are governed by fear. Yeah. Fear seems to be greater than than love. We yes. are always afraid because we live in a very violent world. Yes. Sir. What can you suggest we do? in our lives to help overcome the fear and all the very, you know, we have the thoughts and the thoughts are always, uh, it's easier to have negative thoughts than to have 
no thoughts or to have something positive because the world is very violent nowadays. Mm -hmm. How can we promote a change in the collective unconscious to change fear into love? Because uh, uh, fear is always come is come from in the rejection. You reject something. You don't like something. You know you you know you the fear always come in duality. Mm -hmm. Somebody different than you. Somebody dangerous or whatever. And uh, then. Uh, what say one you love there's no separation they know have a separation they don't have so much duality and that's make less fear fear what is the purpose of fear is also fear is a way to protect ourselves this is clear you also know how use fear is sometimes useful. Yes. But fear herself, nature of the fear is complete unhealthy emotion, but you use sometimes correct way is little help. But we think fear make a protect way. But fear not really protect you and the fear make you have more separation. more separation and make more have a problem and you feel more and more weaker and weaker and weaker but you practice love and you don't see a separation mm -hmm. you have less fear you know it's less fear in the maybe somebody make you a problem and you don't feel great problem and when you have a fear and the somebody make a very little problem you feel very very big therefore I always say people somehow you fear me anywhere I come your problem guarantee your fear me is a guarantee I'm your problem and but you love me is there still you have a chance I'm not come your problem not only this maybe I make your problem but they have a chance you don't take this is a problem and then not only this you don't feel I'm your problem but when I make your problem but you don't feel problem you're more free of me but when you more fear me and you are less and less free of me you see, I'm more controlled you. You don't want I control you, but how much you have more fear me, I more control you. But when you more love, really, really love me, and many things people think now I control you. No. You really love me, I don't control you. You are more free of me. You see? And you're free of me. I'm not possible make you a problem. I'm not possible make a problem. You and that is what we call about protect, correct? Maybe I cut your head and you have big, 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 big unconditional love me. I cut your head. Maybe you don't feel problem. That's okay. Less problem. Anyway, maybe should be happen this. But you have so much fear me. I just pull one, one, one piece over here. Maybe you get whole life. Your whole life suffering because of a one piece of the hair take you know that's exactly in the happening in our Western world nowadays because people have so much fear and nobody want to connect each other I don't like to connect you because you are full of the fear and you are full fear is look like pain it's look like disease and who have a pain body and you little touch they feel pain exactly look like this you know, full of the fear means whatever I do make you pain. I don't interest in to make you pain and me, and then we just make two separate, we just say bye. And then we decide to not love. Uh, therefore, is, uh, uh, love is the only way to uh, save. 
It's love is the only way to save in the world. Love is the only way to save our health. Love is the only way to save our economy. Love is the only way to save our climate. climate. And love is the only way to save family, neighbors, country. And we don't have love. In, in the family we also don't have love. It's not love, it's just own. Yes, therefore, therefore, I'm sorry to say sometimes I'm against the leader family systems also. Mm -hmm. Anywhere I'm against all systems, but I respect all systems, you know, in the, uh, the idea of love is not a system. It's freedom. It's love is freedom. Mm -hmm. We need such open system, we need universal system. You see, and we don't have a universal system, and now we have a problem economically, emotionally, and all things. Therefore, we need religion, need to come universal. And, uh, you know, everything need to come universal, and then we have a kind of a less problem. Therefore, whatever system, mostly whatever system, is become limitation. Because love is not limited. You know, is therefore uh, sometimes I just you know sometimes I people say also religion is a poison. It means also Buddhism, also any philosophy I say poison. Who, whatever make or Buddhism or Santi, sans or religion, whatever you call, whoever make limitation, whoever make separation, I call is a poison. I'm not too afraid to say this, I'm not too shy to say this, this is because of the 21st century. Maybe I'm uh, 100 years ago, I, don't, I never say because people are not ready to hear. And this century, little enlightened century, you have a, what you say have more reason and they can do a lesson, you know. Not everybody. And uh, they have very important education self-education. We in this world, we so much focus to make money and who have money, who rich. I like people can reach and who have money, but you are rich and you don't have education, terrible. Many, many rich people have, but they don't have education. Really, they don't have knowledge itself. And they are very close people, unbelievable close people. You know, and that's how come war. Therefore, we really need, I like sons. I, I don't think who practice sons, they're very pure. The philosophy of sons to open, mm -hmm. you know, just open, it's open, they open. But to who practice sons, they also make close things, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. Uh, I hear, it's exactly look like religion. It's also many, many religion is very, very, open universal teaching but they make individual teaching mm -hmm. you know yes. uh, therefore I uh, conclusion I think yes when you have love is you feel more free therefore uh, I uh, I really believe this I'm not a person who have unconditional love it's clear but uh, I really I need a choice fear and the love to you, I choose to have love you. Because when I fear you, I feel immediately no good with you, but whatever you do is all I feel more pain. But when I love you, immediately I don't feel bad with you, but you do something not good me and not so much harm. And then this name I call protect. You don't protect, that is the absolute way to protect. That's name I call love. Mm -hmm. And our societies, we teach to protect. How we protect? Uh, means fear. We use fear to protect we, not to love to mm -hmm. use to protect we. Exactly. Therefore, in nowadays, fear is the best business. Yes. That is the most shameful thing, you know, yes. in the politicians, and oh, 
in the past, I mean, past, maybe I just passed the people use name of religion to use fear to make a big business or whatever I call, I'm sorry to say. And then everybody said that's no good. Now, it's the politicians or who call world, they also use fear and the still the fear is the best, most success business. You know, that's a kind of shameful and therefore, and you use fear to Use, you use fear to make everything do what you want others. Mm -hmm. Everybody buy in this everywhere. Therefore we need to generate more love than fear, how much we can. Yes. I love it, I love it. Okay. <laughs> I will learn how to love you a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. I really, really appreciate it. I, I really think this is going to be very good for people to listen yeah. and even it's going to be better for people to watch. Yes, and yes. See see your energy and how you bring all these wonderful teachings to, to us, to help us. Yes, yes, thank you. So, thank you very much. Thank you, yes. Okay, very good.